taxes. That's half or whatever. Come on, let's do the math. You go to Miami. Yeah, I'm in Miami chilling, bro. I'm leaving a party. And, uh, Why people got problems with you in Miami, though? No, it's not. Th- this was not targeted. This was not. This is just some So it's jack- not somebody be like, oh, they're skinny from now. Let's try to pick on them. Yeah, nah, because this, I'm going to be honest with you. some jack boy shit, you feel me? I okay. was at a party, you feel me? I was lacking. No, I was really wasn't lacking. We're not going to get into that. But uh, I was at a party. We're leaving the party. I'm getting in the car. Just some, I guess somebody said, like, there's some dude here, skinny from nine, maybe. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He, he's with his homie, you feel me? It's just two of them. There's like, you feel me? There's, you know? Yeah. And uh, blah, blah, blah. They about to leave. That's how I'm guessing it happened. I get to the car, you feel me? I had like, had a book bag filled with money. I had all my jewelry on, you feel me? And uh, we go outside, and a car just randomly pulls up, like, four deep, guns out, blah, blah, blah. And dude starts shooting, you feel me? I'm trying to take cover. My homie. Wait, wait. Yeah, bro. Shoot out GTA. Hold GTA. On, hold on. Wait, GTA. Hold on, hold on, hold on, GTA. But if it's a robbery, why they start just sh- like they just oh, want to take your oh, shit though. Oh, they want to oh, take yeah, your shit. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, so they're like, yo, you give I'm me a, a chain and your yeah, money. Yeah, nah, I wasn't going for that. Why not? I wasn't going for that. You've been through a lot, bro. You got to give it up, bro. I wasn't going for that. So they but, said, is this they pulled, com- out, is, they pulled out the grips, they pulled out the straps, put it to my. Is face. this complicated because also you feel like you have just been through a lot and you're like, yo, bro, I'm just not about to go out as no more. I'm t- I'm tired of this shit. You niggas is really playing with me now. Real shit. That's. Not even more Because than, I ain't gonna lie to you then, not, I could care less. I'm like I, yo, care I just less. take it Good luck with it Spend it in good health I could care less about What anyone gotta say about me It's just more of like My definition of a real nigga A real nigga is just somebody Who stand for You real with yourself Stand on what you believe in Fuck what everybody else gotta say Real nigga to me Is not a follower Not not Can't be bought Nothing like that Stand for whatever you believe in And stand on it So That's, that's my definition Everybody else got their own definition So Dudes wanted to take my shit, and I was like, I'm nah. Like, nah. You feel me? And nigga popped me. Damn. The, you gonna have to kill me for the jewelry. You feel me? Like, that's how I was coming. Like, I'm not just going to take the shit off and give it to you. So, at this point now, you've been through so much. Now you're shot, bro. Yeah, I'm shot. Bro, I did, because yeah. I remember I remember watching that video, and I, you know people said to me, they were like, yo, yo, Skinny shot himself. Nah. There's a whole I'm telling you, board, that's bro. what they told me. They're like, yo, Skinny shot himself to make the blogs. I'm like, nobody's There's doing this. A whole like, I'm like, yo, nobody, like, yo, who the fuck shoots themselves to make a blog? There's a whole police report. There's fucking, there's, I'm sure, there's, there's fucking. Do you regret? They, they picked up gun shells. Do you there's, regret? Um, I'm just not giving it up. Gun shells for more than one gun. How does that even make sense? But do you regret just not giving it up? Nah. It, it could have cost you your life. Could have. You're right. Every you still got your family relying on you, your brother locked up. Okay, so that happens. You're, you're probably you go to the hospital. This I feel after. like anybody else would have just gave their shit up. I think that's smart. <laughs> See, only 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 a few dudes ain't give their shit up. You feel me? Like rest in peace, X. He ain't give his shit up. Skinny front of nine ain't give his shit up. Who else? Uh, a few dudes ain't give their shit up. You know that's respectable. You feel me? I mean, I, I think living is respectable though. Right. Yo, I I love X to death, and I always knew that X was a guy who, in that moment, he would not like everything, the energy he gave me and, and, and the conversations we had, his reaction in that moment did not surprise me. Do I wish he reacted like that? No. Because, you know, there's a guy who was worth, he just got a $10 million deal. He got, he got, he got his own and beliefs. Some, he had his own beliefs and what he stand on. Yeah, but he's got ten million dollar deal, fifty thousand dollars. That's nothing. Right. You get me. And of course, but for him, he wouldn't want to walk away from that situation, saying someone took some shit from him. But you know, when a nigga got to drop on you, they got to drop on you. That's true. That's you know what I mean? And 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 and, and, I, and I guess that that's my only like saving grace in terms of trying to advise any artist or anyone is like, yo, listen, I get it. You know what I mean? It, it, there's some type of bravado. You'd be like, yo, nigga never took no, nothing from me. But man, shit, if it gets to the other part where a nigga's shooting at you or killing you, like, what ends up happening? All right. So after that shit, are you just like fed up a rap, bro? Like, if I'm you, I'm done with rap. I'm though. not, nah. I'm done with rap. I'm, I'm done with rap. Bro, and also, I'm, I'm done with like, nobody. Even being in these situations, that doesn't seem fun. Hey, man, I'm a firm believer in God. I'm, I'm just, I have a positive outlook on life. Like, I feel like it's just things are going to work in my favor eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like, Listen, check it out now. Holy Tristan Thompson, what are you doing? Now, this fool out here playing more women than he playing basketball. I mean, how the hell you gonna name your child with Khloe Kardashian, 
true while all you do is lie to her, bruh. Listen, it's just wild. And I'm not out here saying, yo, listen, why is he cheating? Why is he doing this? I get it. Everybody got a side ting or two. But damn it, at least clean up. Now, unfortunately for Tristan Thompson, his legacy won't be that he's known for coming alive during the fourth quarter of a basketball game. He's going to be known for actually coming alive during the third trimester of a pregnancy. Yes, I'm just disgusted by this guy's lack of care, man. And the only reason I'm reporting this fuckery is because, Canada, this is on y'all. Now, I've been saying that black men don't cheat, okay? But we probably got to limit it to American black men. Because this guy, Tristan Thompson, he's actually from Brampton, Ontario. And technically, I don't even know if that qualifies being black. So maybe his fuckery gets a pass. Anyways, no pull out Tristan. He's just a sucker for being called cheating, man. And he's always leaving permanent reminders. First of all, if you go cheat on your girl, which I'm not saying I condone, but I get it. Listen, you're in the NBA playing 82 games in 30 different cities. Your girlfriend, who's a Kardashian, she's busy with her own life. You barely ever see her. You got to slang some community dick. I get it. I'm not trying to say you should have a monogamous date in life. But like every other NBA player, use a condom, nigga. Don't have a side baby. Now we gave him props for piping down Jordan Woods because after we saw how thick she was, who wouldn't? But she snitched on him. And these side babies, to keep it real, man, they're just much worse. Now, if you don't know, the new scandal is this. There's some chick named Mar Mary Lee Nichols. By the way, he got a type, all right? He, she been told him like, yo, listen, you fuck me and I am pregnant. Now, he being so cheap, and this is the worst part about it, people, okay? If you're going to be doing your dirt, acknowledge that you might have to pay the cost to keep it anonymous or to get rid of it. Now, Tristan Thompson hits up the chick who claims he got her pregnant. And basically offers her $75,000 to get the abortion. Now, I got to put this in perspective. This year, Tristan Thompson is making $9.258 million this year, okay? And over his NBA career, he's made over $108 million. Yet the most he would offer to this woman was $75,000. Now, let me read some of these fucking messages, okay? This is what Tristan said. You know how I feel. My feelings hasn't changed at all. Won't be involved at all. By the way, if you think you're having this baby is going to make you some money, it's completely wrong. You are aware that I'm retiring after the season. So in terms of support, it will be whatever is required monthly for someone who's unemployed. It's Texas. So it will only be a couple hundred dollars. Okay, so you'll be better off taking the 75K I'm offering because you won't get nothing near with, near that with having a kid with a father who's unemployed. All you will have is a baby with a father who has zero involvement with the child and a few hundred dollars of child support per month. Okay, now, of course, we were looking at this to say, damn, he's talking quite spicy. Okay, he seems like he must have an ace up the hole. He got an ace up his sleeve. Now, keep in mind, he's being pretty cheap, making $9 million, but is only willing to pay her $75,000 pretty much to get rid of the kid. He's trying to play hardball. However, okay, he had to take a paternity test. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, what did the paternity test confirm? Yes, no pullout Tristan is actually the father, okay? Now, after shaming Chloe like five times, right? He's now trying to shame himself by publicly apologizing to her and admitting to his wrongs. Now, he put on Snapchat, or actually put on Instagram stories, say, yo, today, paternity test revealed that I, I fathered a child with Mary Lee Nichols. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amicably raising her son. I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately. Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I've caused. You don't deserve the way I've treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you may think. Again, I am so incredibly sorry.
Okay, now again, another day and another public embarrassment from no pullout Tristan. What is wrong with this guy? Somebody got to teach this guy how to cheat in peace. Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to keep it 100. Some people say this is karma for all of the fuckery that the Kardashians have done to black men. But I'm just going to be honest, man. Listen. This is just flat out embarrassing, okay? Somebody just got to show this guy, Tristan, how to use a condom. Or basically tell this motherfucker the only thing he should be dunking after he fucks these side hoes is plan B's. Come on, man. I'm not trying to say that's a way of contraception. But God damn it, man, this guy is just coming off like a loser, okay? Damn it. The kids are going to suffer in this because obviously he's trying to be with Chloe and he's having these random kids left and right. However... I just can't tolerate the sloppiness he got going on. He's making all black men look horrible. And for that, we just have to say, yo, he's from Canada. Okay, like that, I got nothing to do with us. Okay, we can't vouch for what they got going on over there. Okay, we got to be keeping on it. All right. Anyway, get a comment. Make sure you like them. Anyway, get a comment. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Watch Academics. What do you think about this? No pull out Tristan back at it again, man. That nigga trying to repopulate the earth. You let me know, though. Watch Academics. Bye -bye.